Give me a couple minutes to show you how to convert repeating decimals into fractions without the use of a calculator. The first problem that we have is 0.4 repeating. I know the four is repeating because there's a bar notation over the four. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come up with two equations. The first one's gonna be, we're gonna let X equal whatever repeating decimal that we're working with. In this case, it's 0.4 repeating. So I'm gonna show that four repeating a few times. And then to come up with our other equation, it's all dependent upon how many numbers are repeating. In this case, we have one number repeating. So we're gonna multiply the left and the right side of our first equation by 10. If we had two numbers repeating, we would do 100, and three numbers would be 1,000. So x times 10 is gonna be 10x equals, and then how do I multiply this decimal by 10? We just move the decimal point one place value to the right, and we end up getting 4.4 repeating. Now that we have our two equations, we're gonna subtract them from each other. So we get 10x is equal to 4.4 repeating minus, line up your variables, the equal sign, the decimal points, the place values, making sure that everything's lined up perfectly. And now we can go ahead and subtract these. 10x minus 1x is 9x. And notice the cool part here, all of the repeating fours get canceled out because four minus four is zero, and we're left with four minus zero is four. And now let's isolate x, get it by itself, get rid of the nine by dividing by nine on both sides, the nines cancel, and we end up getting this repeating decimal turned into a nice, clean, simplified fraction of four ninths for the first one. Now let's go ahead and take a look at a little bit of a tougher one here. We end up getting 3.19 with the nine repeating. All we're going to do is ignore the three that's in front of the decimal point for right now, and we're gonna tack it on at the very end. It just makes things a little bit easier. And we're gonna do the same exact steps now. Let x equal our repeating decimal, so 0 0.1 with the nine repeating. We're gonna multiply both sides by 10 because we have one digit that's repeating again, and we're gonna move that decimal point one place value to the right, and now we can go ahead and subtract these. 10x is equal to 1.9 repeating. Line up the variables again, the equal sign, the place values, the decimal point, and now we can subtract once again. 10x minus 1x is 9x. Our nines that are repeating are gonna cancel. However, a little bit different scenario, we end up getting 1.8 when we subtract here. We're still gonna divide by nine, and we end up getting x is equal to 1.8 over nine. The only problem is we have a decimal point in our fraction still. Well, how do I move the decimal point one place value to the right to fix that? We're just gonna multiply by 10 again. We've already done this trick once, and we end up getting x is equal to 18 over 90, which can be simplified. Both of these are divisible by 18. And our final answer is gonna be a three out front, because we're just gonna tack on that three that we ignored at the beginning. And our final answer is three and one fifth.